Well, hello. How are you all? This is a first and a first. Two firsts at one time. <laughs> we have never done a live actual cooking. Um, and this is our first using a bigger screen. So hopefully, I don't think we're, we got any more room. We're just bigger on there, Mama. I know. <laughs> I don't know if I want you to use that or not. Mama says, cut off that big screen. So someone told me how to do this, and I thought, well, let's just give it a try. So this is a first and a first. So when you, when some of y'all get logged on here, tell us, can you hear us, first of all? And uh, hello, Jane. Can you hear us, Jane? <laughs> we know you can see us, I hope, because there we are in big... I'm used to this little phone, and <laughs> this is a lot bigger in a moment. Oh, yeah. So, uh, a hundred pounds good, heavier. <laughs> good evening and hi. Yeah. So, maybe y'all are hearing us. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. And, and if you all, hello, Tammy, if you all are not hearing us or something, start talking. And I can see your words now. So, that's one reason we want to use this yeah. bigger screen. All right. So, what mama's going to make here for us live for the first time <laughs> a coffee time live actual recipe. And I'm not even sure. I guess the camera, right there's the camera. So what she's going to make for us is pimento cheese. And Mama makes the best pimento cheese. So I told Mama, so what better way to start out than with some good old pimento cheese? All right, so. Well, I hope it's all right. I'm kind of a little nervous doing it. And, I, and, and the view's a little different. So let's see what I can do here. Get here you. is my bowl. It's a Tupperware clear bowl. It's probably too little for all the cheese I've got. And what this is right here is just a jar of diced pimentos and most recipes says drain the pimentos but I don't drain mine I just use juice and all let's tilt you down here where you can see what she's yeah, up to there right here maybe you can see all right so all I've done now is just dump my pimentos in this bowl and I got a clear Tupperware bowl so you could kind of see it and I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar that's the secret recipe, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. Is that sweet pimento? And I'm going to stir it in the pimento and the juice until it dissolves pretty good. And I believe that's got it good. And this is a cup of mayonnaise. And all I'm going to do is put part of this in right now. And I'm going to stir it in here, and it'll look pink and looks like tomatoes and mayonnaise now. Uh-huh, it does. That's, I guess that's the reason I like it so good. It looks like tomatoes. Mm. Okay, I've got that mixed up pretty good. And so I've just grated the cheese. This is half American and half, uh, what is it? Velveeta. Velveeta. <laughs> I couldn't see it. And Johnny's showing my, my Velveeta cheese Tupperware. Oh, your keeper? Oh, no, look really at that. I, sorry about that. I, I'm not used to the camera being there either. This is old. I it's as half as old as me at least because I remember when I was a kid you always had it and it's it's a cheese keeper. Some of y'all probably have these or at least your mama had them. It's from Tupperware. Tupperware Velveeta keeper. Now mama you just add a little bit of cheese at a time and Well, I just kinda want it not all stick together. It's I'm just kinda moistening it and add a little bit more. Yeah. Trying to get it all in here. Now, Mama grated this up just while ago just to save time because we knew you all didn't want to just watch this great cheese. That would be very boring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what folks are saying while you're doing that, Mama. It says, you do have a recipe, I don't want, for chicken croquettes. We do. We haven't made them, but I will try to pull that out and get it together. And uh, you, we deep fry them. So uh, I will, I'll work on that. That'll be something different we haven't made. I don't think we've ever made a video of that. Um, hello, Beth and Julie. Mama, it's smelling good. I know that, those pep, those uh, pimentos. And, smelling. Yeah, all that together is smelling real good. There's a piece of cheese didn't get grated, Mama. I'll, I'll grab that out there. Oh, you're going to eat that, aren't you? What was you say that on? <laughs> now I'm going to add some more mayonnaise. It's getting too thick. 
This is what Hellman's or something or Duke's. This is Hellman's. We ain't. We gotta get to the big store. This is just a cup of mayonnaise in total. So you'll know when she gets through there. A cup of mayonnaise, and that was about two cups of shredded cheese. Well, a little more than two cups. Two cups. A little more than two cups. But I don't know. It's quite a bit in here. Yeah. I kind of got great and happy, and I'm just going to make a small amount because I was going to show them in this bowl where they could see it. One thing about it, pimento cheese, once you make it, it's easy. Now, of course, if you use a whole jar of pimentos, you know, you make a certain amount, but you can make a small amount, or you can use a couple of jars and make a large amount, and it's easy and quick, and you can keep it made up fresh. Mama, I'm going to steal your cutting board. Okay, and I'm going to slice this up at tomato because y'all know what we're fixing to have is a pimento cheese sandwich. One of our most favorite little summertime snacks. Nothing like a good fresh garden tomato with a, with a wonderful fresh homemade pimento cheese on some toasted bread. Mom, what kind of bread are we doing today? Oh, it's, uh, what's it? That artesian bread. Yeah. That wheat. Our little save a lot has that sometimes, and when it, they have it, we get us some of it because it is awful good. You can see in the bowl now, I'll put it up here closer. It's a mix and better. And we use Sara Lee too. We like Sara Lee whole wheat. I like whole wheat. I like a. I don't know if this is the whole wheat they had this time or not. I like whole wheat and I also like white, but white, white don't have a whole lot of nutritional this value. This must be more the white they had on hand this time. Is that the white? Yeah, I believe. I'm they just... didn't have the whole wheat like I... Yeah, we're just glad to get what we can get. Glad to get it, glad to have it. They didn't have If y'all done anything fun today, hope y'all are staying safe with the COVID that's going around. I'm gonna peel now this come out of mama's garden. Look at that. It's small, but mmm, it's so it smells so good. I think it's one of them that's supposed to turn orange or red or something, and I picked it. You picked it too soon? I picked it too soon. They all start out green, don't they, Mom? Yeah. And my orange was doing real good and it just uh, just seemed to quit. The weather was peel. too dry and too wet and now it's back too dry again, so my poor little old beans is a... Uh, now you picked beans this morning, didn't you, Mom? Yeah, a little bowl full. I picked a gallon bucket full or more. So is that going to be lunch one day? Yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow lunch for... Yeah, we might have that tomorrow. Or you want to wait? And... We may wait. Is that a cannon worth? No, uh -uh. So what do we what do we need it's for? It's way too more, way too much. I can't even talk. Way too more for a, a mess, and not hardly enough for a cannon. But make two want, messes. I didn't want to pick the smaller ones. I was going to give them a chance to grow a few more days, and I may go pick them because my vines was so pretty and green, and then I went down there, and then they're turning yellow. We mm. had all that rain, and then it turned dry, and now we're going to have more rain, so I thought I'd get one. When are we do. getting rain? Uh, off of one of those storms. I forgot what. Mm. Well, we'll get what we need, I'm sure. Yeah, get what the All right. I, that's that's Lord wants us to have. that lighting is a little different, so you can't really see how pretty this is. This toast does real good. But I this like pimento cheese, you can see how beautiful and just the right thickness. It's not too thick; it's just right. And some people use Miracle Whip in theirs. Um, people have all different kinds of recipes, just like they do for everything else. But this is our quick little recipe, and then I have just cut up some. Um, green peppers and some homegrown tomatoes. All these come out of Mama's garden, and uh, that's what we're having today. Um, our friends, our neighbors, Jeff and April, brought us some uh, wonderful tomatoes yesterday evening. They're normally down at the farmers market, and I uh, had mentioned before if you're coming through by Jellico, uh, 160 exit 160 on a Saturday morning. 
Just get off the exit there and head toward McDonald's. You'll come up on a red light when you get to the downtown red light. Look over to the right in the Veterans Memorial Park and you'll see all of those tables set up with all those wonderful vegetables. So if you're headed that way, maybe you're going camping or something, you can stop and get you some vegetables on the way. They may not be as much with the, what is it, COVID. Well, there might not be as many people, but they, they do have a farmer's market every Saturday morning yeah. on Main Street. So, Mama's, you got bread and toaster? Well, it was a little hard to toast. I didn't have the, the toaster plugged in. <laughs> Mama. Electricity, electricity. I was trying it the old-fashioned way. Though. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it toasted. Without, without toast? The, without electricity. Well, let's see if anybody, I hope y'all can hear us good. Uh, everybody, I'm not seeing anybody say they can't, so I'm assuming we can. Um... Can we make corn pudding one day? Um, do you make corn pudding, Mama? I've never made corn pudding. I think we have a recipe for it, though. I really do. I think we do have a corn pudding recipe. Let's get that back a little bit. See, I'm not used to being able to angle back. <laughs> so, uh, corn pudding. We'll put that on our to-do list, too. Maybe we can come up with a good corn pudding. You better start writing stuff pudding. down. Well, I'll watch this video back. <laughs> you cheat. Uh, it says my screen is the same. Is everybody able to see us okay? Hello, Hello. Faye. I hope so. This is our first time using this um, um, iPad to film on and to do a live on. We're hoping to give us more room plus be able to see better. I can see your words. Now that I can. Can you, Mom? Oh, well, you're not wearing your glasses, Mom. No. I heard toast. Yes. Here's your plate. It's be hot. Now, Mama, you know that'll be hot. You'll be hot. Oh, 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 That gives me some exercise jump around. Look at that. Pretty toast. Mama, once you turn, once you plugged it in, you did good. I know. It worked better plugged in. All right, Mama, let's try this out. I can't wait to try out some good pimento cheese here. Um, it's been a week or two since we had any good pimento cheese. While you're putting that together, I'm going to go get us some tea, sir. Well, thank you, ma'am. I've got coffee going, but some good sweet tea will hit the spot for you sure. Want sweet or unsweet? I want uh, unsweet. All right, so I put me a little pimento on there. Did you put some more bread down, Mama? So I do that, and then I put some layer, these wonderful, wonderful homegrown tomatoes. Thank you, Lord, for these tomatoes. Mama, you want any green pepper on yours? No, sir. She said no. No green pepper. Well, Mama, I'm going to put on half of it, and then when that toast gets done, we'll uh, have another half. Y'all may put you in two more pieces. Yeah, please. We'll split this one so we'll both have a little taste. Now, Mama didn't put any salt or pepper in this pimento cheese. You can do both, and I will put pepper on mine because that's one of my favorite things is a little bit of pepper. Well, the cheese nowadays, or it's my old taste one, seems to be saltier than it used to be. Mama says they've gone salty with the cheese. And I don't want all that salt. We're trying to cut down on some salt anyway. But there's mine. And here's, I am going to put a little salt on my tomato. Mommy, ain't going to put no salt on your tomato. Yeah, I want a little salt on my tomato. All right. I'll let you fix yours. And I'm going to put a little black ground pepper on that green pepper. And just put my half on And on that pimento. We'll get your half right there. Oh, thank you, sir. And we'll have us another half when that pops up over there. And then, Mom, I'm going to half in my half. You're going to hype in your hive. Uh, yeah, because I'll have it down the front of the shirt if I don't. <laughs> but I'm not apron. I know. Use a cooking, though. I wasn't doing nothing but drinking coffee. I don't have to have an apron to drink coffee. All Can right. We'll touch this? you back well, up. I didn't get you sweet. I mean, I didn't get the unsweet out. Mama, if you force me, I'll have some good old sweet tea. I can drink it. I know you can. I was just going to try to be good, but... Mama won't let me. It's you all heard it here first. It's not got much sugar in it. All right, Mama, I'm going to give you a taste test right now. Folks, this is our first live recipe. It, you know, it's a little different. We don't edit our videos at all. We just 
we cut we cut or pause and then finish it up and maybe what we call take out some of the boring parts if something has to cook 20 minutes or something and then we just start it back up and then whatever we have is what we have but um, with a live you pretty well have to start to finish yeah and you've got to get it, you've got to get everything ready to get it done or you'll be on like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is it already good mama that is delicious homemade pimento cheese homegrown tomato and a little bit of green pepper. This is a memory that'll carry me through January. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. That is supper. That is supper, and it's supper time. Let's see, it's 626, yeah, it's supper time. There you go, sir. It's past, so will you go ahead and make it, Mama? I'm gonna eat. I'll go ahead and eat it. <laughs> she said, forget you, I ain't gonna do that. I think we got um, everything. I, I think we can hear. I just turned it on to see if we could hear. I think we're hearing good. So there it is, folks. Mama, go over the recipe one more time just so they'll know what you put in there. Well, I don't know the poundage of the cheese because I buy it. It's, it's, it's about two cups of grated cheese. Or, or more, a, Mama says. She ain't going to agree with me. It's she a, says. a jar of pimentos, juice and all, mm -hmm. tablespoon of sugar, mm -hmm. and a cup of mayonnaise. And then you've seen the plate of cheese is just grated. And I put half Velveeta and half American cheese. And that's all they are, too. And just get it mixed and eat. Now, you can use cheddar. Yeah. Now, Mama, this is Mama's recipe. This is what she always makes. I just don't use cheddar in my pimento cheese. When I make it, sometimes I go all kinds of ways with it. I'll put cheddar in it sometimes. I put cheddar in, in, in uh, um, mozzarella, uh, Jack, cheddar in the, the mix. Jack. Kobe Jack, there it is. And um, I've put, even put some bell pepper in mine before. It just depends on what I'm going to do. I use, use, usually do smaller amounts. Mama don't like all that, but this right here is perfect. And when I think of pimento cheese, this is the one I think of. It's Mama's. And uh, we make it, and it's a wonderful little snack. Uh, once again, it's not been too hot here today. It's humid. Yeah. But it's kind of been overcast. But um, once again, you don't want to always heat up. In, in the summertime, when you get these fresh vegetables, it's a good way to fix them, ain't it, Mama? Yeah, and sometimes I'm just pure old lazy and don't want to cook all that stuff. True, truth, true. Truth. <laughs> Confession's good for the soul, Mama. No, I reckon it is. Some of y'all ask, where have y'all been? What have we been doing, Mama? We've been busy all week, every well, evening. Well, you've worked late every evening. I have had to work a little extra. And uh, you had garden stuff one evening you was working on, and... Mm -hmm time just gets away especially in the summertime and in this time of the year it just flies by don't it, mama oh yeah but uh, we we miss y'all and mama said are you gonna film today and i said well, yeah mama we'll film and then we'll fill around and she's well we'll wait till tomorrow evening <laughs> and then tomorrow evening comes and we got something else going on but uh anyhow we got on it today didn't we mama hey, a little we don't even know what we're having for lunch tomorrow usually we plan that out i know it Go ahead and eat your sandwich, Mom, before, before it gets hot. I've been before it gets hot. You say before it gets cold. You have to eat before it gets something always, don't you? Let's see if anybody's any questions or anything. Sometimes they have questions. Mom, this would be a good, good opportunity for them to ask you some questions. Someone said, I can't see the name, said that's how they make theirs. Uh, that, okay, now someone just asked about the titles. With the lives, I guess I could edit a live. I don't know. I'll have to look and see, but they don't have titles. You're right. Um, so maybe I'll have to figure out how do you edit a live. Because when we post them, I can put a title in there. So, uh, hmm, that's a good homework assignment for me. Find out mm -hmm. how to put a title on the lives. Uh... Let's see who else here. Pimento cheese with bacon. Oh, bacon, yes. I love it with bacon. I love good fried crisp bacon, good and warm. Put pimento cheese on it. I put pimento cheese on hamburgers. Instead of just a slice of cheese, put your pimento cheese 
even put you can't hardly eat this like a hamburger but you can eat, eat it open face on this and I'll do that sometimes you know, I could do that mama um, take a hamburger bun put your hamburger patty on there put your big old scoop of homemade chili on that put you a, a scoop of pimento cheese on that you talk about good it's delicious it takes your bowl of chili to another level it's a good meal uh, you don't need anything else on it, uh, just chili and pimento cheese, and it's delicious. You can dash up a tomato pimento, but it is a hamburger you have to eat with a fork because you can't can't really get to that one uh, just holding it. It'd be all over the plate anyway, so I just try that. To get you any lettuce. That's all right, Mom. I had that green pepper. It's delicious. I love green pepper. Now, you know, I'm weird about some things like green pepper. I don't really like it on pizza. I know that sounds crazy, don't it? But a raw green pepper on a sandwich of pimento cheese, it's one of my favorite things. I don't know. Just weird. But uh, I just don't like them like on a Supreme. I don't want any peppers on it. I would say hold the peppers. Let's see here. Uh, got someone says I'll be right over. Well, if you was close enough, Mama would feed you. Mama's a feeder. She likes to feed people. I do like to feed people. Mama's been feeding people for years. Mama, you got your finger, your thumbnail painted, or? No, I took it off. I was out there digging in dirt today with my hands, so I didn't have them polished. Hope I'll do it for Labor Day, maybe. I'll get a piece. No, I ain't <laughs> promising nothing. <laughs> okay, grilled pimento cheese. Oh, a grilled pimento cheese. Yes, I've done that. I love grilled pimento cheese too. That's a great idea. I hadn't thought about a grilled pimento cheese. Hello. It goes by quick. I need to uh, turn my. Oh, so I can't see. Speed reading woman that teaches you how to speed read. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you just get one line on here? It's quick. Uh, hello from Middle, Middle East Tennessee. Lisa, hello. All right, folks. I guess we're done. That was a quick meal, Mama. Mm -hmm. Seems to have been a success, and maybe we can use this. I don't know what the video is looking like. Uh, we've not videoed on this we've direction. We've got to do the gifts. Oh, Mama's got me some homework. Mama, what you got here? Oh, some gifts. We did get some gifts this week. Some uh, wonderful things. That's from Christopher and Charles. Charles and Christopher from California sent some chocolate, and you'll see there's one missing. And I didn't do it. That's the truth. I did. But Mama couldn't get it open. Supposed to do. <laughs> and she said, "Open that chocolate up." So I did, and I took one out so early. I one I, that was good, so good with coffee too. And then they sent us some coffee, and then they sent me two gadgets. And it's it's rare that I get a gadget that I've not had, and but this one is one of them. Um, this is a um, spin and slice your favorite vegetables and fruits. Spin and slice. I like that. And then here is a spiralizer mm. with a lot of attachments on it. And I like that too. Can't wait to try out all this good stuff. I enjoy trying new things, new recipes, and new devices. And, and that is from Charles and Christopher from California. It right? was Charles and Christopher from California. Thank you all so much. Um, and this is all this homemade goodies. Oh, Mama's got all kinds of homemade. Uh, from uh, Miss Eve, Eva, from uh, Missouri, and she's wrote a beautiful letter here. Please continue cooking, she says. She says she's made several of the recipes. This is a cookbook she sent. Mom, you have to come around this way. I'm sorry. Well, you're used to me being able to flip that other one around. Okay, this is a little little bite of heaven. And she's marked on some of them, and I've read some of them. She's put good out the side of some of the recipes. And this is a, I'm lose, losing everything over here, a pocketbook. Oh, look at that. Bag that she's made. Look at all that hard work she's Can y'all see that? And this is Beautiful. a scarf she's made. Mama, you'll wear that this winter. I reckon I'll Or in August. And this is a throw. This one's Johnny. She didn't catch that, but she bundles up here around. And this is really pretty. That it's is camouflage. Pretty. And look what beautiful work she does. It's just beautiful. Has it inspired you to get your needles out, Mama? Yeah, just about it. 
and this one is for me. And I, I said, told her, I said, you can wear that around the house because she's always cold. I get so cold, so by sometimes. And this just goes over your shoulders and mouth like this. And it is, it's, well, it's summertime, but this is actually very warm. And you've got your arms free to do what you can. You can cook in that, Mama. I know it. And now, I Mama, here's some. Is. Here's the thing. I guess this is mine because it says runs on. Uh, whoa, this runs on coffee. Who, where did this one come from? You got a name here. There's it's a, from Miss Linda. I believe that is correct. Uh huh. Linda from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Runs on, and that's true, Linda. That is all I. Jesus and coffee is the only thing that keeps me going. She sent Maggie a little squeaky toy. Maggie's over here. What was that? <laughs> And then this home is where the dog is. Now that's the truth. The balls. Huh? Huh? I said the dog's the balls. Oh, yep. Yeah. I sort of said, does it say that? No. no, it says home is where the dog is. Thank you, Miss Linda. And somebody sent Maggie, she's heard her name, she's starting to dance. Uh, somebody sent Maggie uh, her favorite treats in the whole wide world. And she loves her favorite treats. Don't you, Maggie girl? Can y'all see Maggie down here? No, she can't see her. No, you can't see Maggie down there. No, she she's she's standing back because she's afraid one of these crumbs will fall. And she wants to be here to clean up. It ain't that she cares anything about the food. It's just she's a very, very, very picky housekeeper. Oh, sure. <laughs> she would eat that pepperoni as long as you would throw it down It's her favorite it. thing. I can open a bag. We have little containers all over the house. Um, little, like I've showed you before, this little this one here, we have these little containers. They got seals on them. You can see, if you open that, or if you open it to put one in, to put a bag in them. Here, honey. Yeah. She, she knows. She, we keep bowls of dog food, two bowls, one in here and one in the sunroom. And uh, she won't, she'll just eat a few bites and go on. But if you put those pepperonis out, it's not a few bites. She won't quit eating until they're gone. So you have to kind I of. I told y'all before, but she thinks we eat that every night because she thinks she's getting table food. But she's like, <laughs> boy, they sure do eat good here. <laughs> well, we better get off All so right. they can. And you can eat your sandwich. Is that what you're saying, Mom? Well, I've ate the biggest part of it. <laughs> Folks, we will uh, get out from here and leave you all alone. And uh, if we cook tomorrow, we will come on here and show you what we're cooking. We ain't been cooking without you. No. Uh, we ain't been cooking without you. We just ain't been cooking. Uh, when tomatoes are in, a good tomato and uh, JFG salad dressing sandwiches, supper a lot of times. A bowl of, one day we had cornbread and milk. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we'll just have a bowl of syrup for supper in the heat. If you work real late, that's about what we have, so it won't lay so heavy on us at times and stuff. Hi, I'm John and Mama from, uh, I think that was Kentucky. Hey! I'm our neighbors. We're neighbors, right up the, just right up the road. Pam says she loves sweet Maggie. Maggie, Pam loves you. Maggie's, she's smiling. She loves uh, you too. I said, uh, we live on right, almost on the Kentucky-Tennessee border, so... We do live on the Kentucky Tennessee. Well, we're just a mile or two. I mean, we are. What we actually? Our town's are. partly in Kentucky and partly in mm -hmm. Tennessee. Our biggest part in Tennessee, a little bit in Kentucky. But I tell them I'm a Tennessee Kentucky, and I claim both of them. We claim both of them. <laughs> Mama loves to travel, and go places. And yeah, and so I've not got to do that. She won't get to travel for a while, and I said, "We'll run over to Kentucky. That make you feel good. Feel like you've been somewhere." <laughs> That's where my friends that I play cards with live. And That's where she gambles. It's not gambling. Quit saying that. <laughs> Mama, you are playing for a prize. I don't win, so it ain't gambling to me. <laughs> I tease her about it. Mama don't gamble, but they play for a prize and they enjoy it. And it's just good fun and it's face 10. And they're and all good Christian women. And it's a good, no bad words ever said or nothing. It's just, even when you lose? Even when you lose. Mama wouldn't say a bad word. Anyway, I like to tease her. But, uh, yeah, I'm just aggravating her, as I always do. Mama likes to be aggravated. <laughs> uh, 
You aggravate me too, Mama, sometimes. Telling stories stuff, Mama. He's been a pinch in me. Where's that bruise at? <laughs> it's like an Easter egg hunt around here. She she will say, I have found a bruise, and I don't know where in the world I got it. And I said, well, Mama, you've hit something. I have found a bruise. Look here. Well, look at that bruise. Oh, my arm's about... No, it's still... It's still purple. It's still or a little bit. little green where it's fell out of the bed. Broke, that broke my elbow. <laughs> But Mama, I hope you don't have any more bruises. I don't either. You don't know how you got that one on your arm? No, but this will probably... No, it ain't turned, so... That one up on your arm probably was the car door or something. Yeah, right. When you went to close that car door, I bet you, because that's happened before. We found out. Well, folks, we're going to go and leave you all alone. Uh, and we will... Uh, Try to do better next time. <laughs> Try to do better next time. And thank you all for being patient with us. And thank you for liking and following our page. Uh, we asked you to the other time, and so many of y'all did. And uh, we're wanting to get closer to the blue check mark. Doing lives will help that. And we love the lives. We hadn't been able to do it because of the noise thing. And now I'm hoping the noise thing is gone. Um, I can't read that, John. Please tell. Sorry, it got away. I've got to figure out how to get them words to stay on there a little longer. Um, the lives will help with the blue check mark, and so will the uh, likes and shares and the follows. And um, the blue check mark is just a, a way of us being able to tell you all that's really us. So we'll know that you know who we are. Because um, we do have some duplicate pages. Our page isn't hacked, it's just um, they copy our stuff and put it on their page and pretend like it's and if it says fans or any of that stuff that ain't us we don't do any of that we ain't changed our page everything's the same so um just keep liking following and sharing and that means so much to us and we um it, it helps us out and helps us get towards that blue check mark so uh we're gonna go for now and say good night and y'all find you something good to eat just tonight and make some memories remind of all the sick and everything Pray yes, for. please pray for all the sick, uh, all those people out there with COVID. Um, we have so many people right here in our hometown and our neighborhoods and even in our family that are suffering with this, I guess it's this last uh, variant of the COVID. I don't know. I don't know the difference of how they can tell if you have one or the other. Um, but uh, just be ever mindful and be careful yourselves and Take the precautions you need to and pray for those who have it and we'll get through this. We'll get through this and the Lord will see us through and um, it's been going on a long time but we'll get through it. So, uh, you all take care and uh, say good night, Mom. Good night, Mom, and God bless you and so. Bye-bye. You all have a great evening. <laughs>